because of the problems between Iran and the US, we only got a single entry visa. Uh, so we knew as we leave Iran, we will not uh, we may not see our family and friends for at least five to six years. We miss uh, some relatives and uh, friends during those years and we didn't have chance to go uh, to their funerals. Also, uh, I didn't have chance to go to see my dad when he, he had a heart surgery and uh, he was in a hospital, he was uh, in bed for more than three months. And also we, we miss Lots of good moments, happy moments, like my sister's wedding and many more. And I really didn't miss Greece a whole lot because uh, maybe uh, uh, Paris had, didn't have that advantage, but, but in the States there are lots of um, uh, people of Greek descent and they have uh, churches and social organizations and so on and so forth. So. Uh, you can sort of almost never be too far away from what's going on in, in the Greek world and in Greece. And, and it's not so, so you don't miss it so much. Mm. Uh, I have to say I was totally kind of absorbed in American culture because perhaps I was young at the time. Iran is, uh, is a very educated society. It has excellent universities, schools and teachers. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, both of my masters and bachelor are in plasma physics. Uh, we had a variety of different courses and different labs related to plasma. And when Gary saw the list of courses that I took in Iran, he was surprised uh, that we have all these courses in Iran. And uh, when I took course, some of the courses at UH, uh, they were uh, not difficult for me because I had a good background. I feel strongly that in, in our field, essentially, the data drives theory and not the other way around, at least not for, for the foreseeable future. So that was one way that uh, uh, I was affected by my culture. As you may know that Iran's name is between some of the few sanctioned countries. And therefore, I was not allowed to uh, be involved in many projects, apply for some scholarships, um, give a talk at some places, go, go to some labs, and uh, also even sit at the same table with some people who wanted to talk during, during a lunch, uh, lunch at a conference, and many, many more. So these are the things that uh, we Iranians have <laughs> the problem in space physics. And uh, we got our green card last year, uh, so the restrictions are not the same as before. But I, I still can see the reaction uh, of some people when they find out my nationality. I was 18 years old when I came to the States. And, uh, but, but the way that, that Greece might have, might have affected my science had to do with uh, as I pointed out, grow, growing in the, in the kind of environment where uh, the, the teachers beat into your head about uh, Homer and Thales and Euclid and Pythagoras and, and sort of uh, they ask you the implicit question, you know, with all of these people, what is it that you can do? And I had my defense and space research institute in Moscow and Miraf really wanted to be there, but we realized that the defense could only be in Russian. I know, and I couldn't learn Russian fast enough. <laughs> yes. So, so um, I spent a great few years with the U group and you can see them uh, on this picture on the, on the bottom on the right. The first year uh, in the US was very difficult. Uh, it is uh, still difficult, but not the same as before because we have many friends in Huntsville New Jersey and Maryland. And uh, similar what Nikki said last time about APL, uh, I want to say that APL has been like a family to us as well. Uh, we come from a background where you're expected to do well. I mean, I was the first person in my family to go to college. Mm -hmm. Failure is not an option. It's not an option, right. You, you really better do it or you'll be in a problem for forever. And uh, that gives you a lot of incentive. And as Parisa said, you work as hard as you can. And...